Okay, welcome everybody to this 10th annual uh, multi-core day. Uh, I'm Erik Hagerstein, a professor in computer architecture in, in Uppsala, and I'm hosting this together with Tobias Vrigstad, who is my colleague. He's more, more on the soft side, doing working with languages, and you will hear him speaking la later on today. Uh, also, I would like to mention uh, Sverke Jansson from SIX, who's been uh, helping us with the multi-core day in the back there for, for over all these years. He was hosting the one of these events yesterday, so he is having a, a year off from the multi-core day. We'll, we'll rope him in next, next year again. So this is the 10th time we do multi-core uh, day. So I guess we cannot say that multi-core is a revolution anymore, uh, because revolutions typically don't last 10 years. Uh, so all we have left now is just the, all the hard work. You know, it's, it's, multi-core is, is everywhere, but there are still quite a lot of, of hard problems to be solved. And that's what we're going to deal with today. Um, so this event uh, is hosted by two organizations, so SIX and, and Upmark, as you see in the uh, lower corner here. So I, first I will spend a few minutes to uh, talk about these two organizations. So Upmark is a uh, Linnaeus uh, Center of Excellence. Uh, it's a grant we got in Uppsala uh, some years ago. Uh, 60 million crowns, and we are adding almost the same amount of money ourselves from, from other products to create a large uh, environment where researchers can, can interact with each other. So Bengt Jonsson is, is the director for, for Uppmark. Um, um, so in this 10-year uh, research program, we try to work interdisciplinary, not with the biologists and, and the, the social science people, but you know, interdisciplinary within uh, uh, covering uh, in, in all, all of these different areas. So architecture, I put that first because that's what I'm doing myself. Um, programming languages, um, applications, uh, embedded real-time systems, and formula verification, just to mention a few areas. And uh, within Upmark, the target of all these groups is to really work on the hard multi-core problems, multi-core related problems. Uh, in, for some of these groups, that means working on stuff that's parallel, right? In, in other, for other groups, it, it's to try to figure out, you know, the nitty-gritty details of what the multi-core is and, and how to use it. So that's, that's the, the Upmark. Uh, there will be quite a few talks from Upmark researchers during the breakout session uh, later on. Uh, the other organization is SIX, and you all are very familiar with what, what, what SIX is already, because you got your invitation in an email, because you signed up on a, on a SIX distribution list, list. So you've probably grow, grown used to the SICS, and you even know how it's pronounced. Um, that's going to change now. Um, so you're no longer going to say SIX. You're not even going to say Swedish ICT, SIX. Uh, from uh, the early next year, uh, SIX will be part of a larger research organization called Research Institutes of Sweden, ri.se. Um, and for those of you who are interested in organization charts, this is what it looks like. So when you see on this picture, uh, the third box from the left, RISE ICT, that's you know the old good old six, and all those people are going to be in that box. But they are going to do really cross-disciplinary stuff here because they're going to work with the bioeconomy, whatever that is, you know, you know all, all, all the way fr from that area and, and, and going to you know, safety and transportation. So these are all the research, Swedish research institutes un underneath one umbrella. So next year when you get an invitation for the multi-core day, it will probably not say six on that invitation or that email will probably say rice. So don't be scared or afraid, it's, it's just the same old stuff. Um, so before we go on with, with the show here, the, couple of, of practical matters. Uh, one is um, how to get online the Wi-Fi. Uh, this information should be in the handout that you got to the registration desk as well. It's also on the wall over there, uh, the, the password and, and, and the Wi-Fi. Um, Twitter, so if, for those of you who are, are Twitters, we have a hashtag, uh, like all events, so six, capital six under Six Software Week SSW. So if you share any thoughts or ideas, please please tag those, those Twitters. And what we're trying out this year for the first time is to have an interactive uh, 
activity on, on the screen here where you can type in questions uh, as we go. And um, what you do is to go to the menti.com uh, site. And I think the way it works is that you, uh, you enter the number you have up there, 593503, to get to, to the right event. And then you type your questions like crazy. Uh, since we are all shy Swedes, maybe we prefer to, to type questions instead of asking them in the microphone. Otherwise, after the talks, there will be chances to, to ask questions in the microphone as well. And the questions will appear on the screen, and I will try to monitor that and ask the questions to, to the speaker. So that's all the practical stuff. Um, so theme for, for this year uh, is a little softer theme. We were, in the beginning, we had lots of focus on hardware because that was the new exciting things, the multi-core, the interface, and how to really understand how to use them at all. Um, now we have, after 10 years, grown up a little bit, and we will focus on, on really how, how to use multi-cores in, in a sane way, and how to understand how they work. Uh, so we're going to have keynotes and discussions about uh, solid multi-core uh, models. Do they really? How do they function? How do they work? Okay, it's you know, if you really lift the hood and see what's underneath there, it's there are lots of scary stuff, uh, and we need to formally define what what's in there and how what a multi-core is. We talk about productivity, productivity and or scaling. So if you really want your application to scale and run well, some people believe you have to put in lots of hard programming work to get there instead of just using more high-level approaches. So we will discuss here how to transition between high-level approaches to something that scales well. Um, uh, we will have talks about how you compile to save energy. So energy has become uh, a big, important first-class citizen for multi-core uh, systems. Talk about how to debug these beasts and also we're going to talk about solutions beyond multi-cores. What if you have an application that scales, has, you know, has larger scaling needs and what you can do in a multi-core or in a multi-socket system um, in terms of how many threads you need or in terms, of, in terms of how much memory you need? Well, there are solutions for that and, and that will be discussed. Also, how to, in, to have um, mixed uh, solutions where you have traditional multi-cores that work together with accelerators and see how, how that can work together. So these are the topics, high-level topics for, for this conference. Uh, here's the program. As always, this year's program is better than ever. Uh, uh, we're going to start off um, with a pretty scary talk. Um, it's going to talk about you know, what you, how multi-cores work and how they don't work. Okay. Um, but don't that let that alarm you. Already, the next talk is going to be more of an upper. So, uh, Joe Armstrong will, will tell us that, you know, all that nitty gritty details, all the stuff that doesn't work, you don't need, about, need, need to care about. Use my, my programming paradigm, and things will be great anyhow. Um, and in between those talks, we have a coffee break out here in the, uh, in, 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 in the break room. Uh, we move on to lunch, and this year the, the free lunch is over. Uh, so we have to, um, you're on your own. There are lots of opportunities here to, to find, grab food at, at uh, the food courts. Uh, for the speakers of the event, come and gather up here. We're going to go together and have lunch uh, so we can interact and talk about the, uh, uh, the nitty-gritty uh, administrations of, of, of this conference as well. Uh, after lunch, uh, we're going to break up into two different groups. Uh, one is in Pirate State Building, not in New York, but just uh, on the other side of the, of the break room. So go past the coffee machines and then make a left. And in, in that room, we will talk about system uh, and optimization issues. We talk about uh, how to comp compile for low energy. Uh, we talk about how to scale outside of a multi-core system in terms of sc memory scaling and thread scaling. And Carl uh, um, Philipp Faxen, who has also been helping out with organizing this conference over the years, he will share some experience he has working in industry on, on accelerators and see how you can complement the multi-core technology to make, make things scale much better. So that, is, that session is across the 
um, pass the coffee machine to the left, Empire State Building. Uh, the other uh, track will stay in here, and that, that track will be on programming languages and, and um, debugging. Uh, so we have a talk about Scala. We have a talk about how to use types, help, have types help, help you in the transition to more efficient code. And at the end, we uh, have a talk on um, how to detect errors. So all these uh, researchers here are from, from SIX, uh, from KTH here, right next doors, uh, as well as from the Uppsala Uppmark. Then we have coffee, and then we're going to round up with some um, application cases. Uh, we're going to hear about uh, one of my favorite uh, apps that I use myself, which is Spotify, and get some tales from the trenches, how it how it's, it's the, the server part of Spotify built up and how can they manage to scale it in, 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 in a sane way. And at the end uh, of the day, we're going to end up with, with a talk on what will happen to multi-cores in the future. Uh, and they will, um, that talk will be about what to implement beyond just adding more and more cores, what, what kind of acceleration parts or, or special features may you see in the future. And that talk is from Oracle. So Oracle is, is of course, a company building very scalable data center type, database type solutions. They build both hardware and software. Um, so there has been a change of, of speakers there. So uh, Rick Hetherington, who was in, initially was on the program, couldn't unfortunately not make it uh, for reasons beyond on his own control. So Zoran Radovic, which, who works for, for Rick, uh, will give that talk instead. <laughs>